Good evening, YouTube. This is Brew by Me doing another review tonight. Tonight I am reviewing Buffalo Lager by the Flying Bison Brewing Company in. Yeah, I know it's in New York, but where in New York? Um, Buffalo, New York. Um, I don't think. Well, the ABV is not on here because New York state law states that no beer sold in the state of New York should have uh, alcohol by volume on it considering that there is so many alcoholics in New York I'm guessing that they don't want um, the people to buy the higher alcoholic beers anyways um, this wonderful beer was sent to me by the awesomeness Albino Rhino again gold cap standard cap pretty cool logo he liked this beer. Um, they're a fairly new company. I think they've only been around for about 11 or 12 years. Um, anyways, Buffalo Lager. Buffalo Lager is a light bodied refreshing all malt beer inspired by the finest German lagers, fresh, crisp Pilsner malt, and German Tettenag hops. Give Buffalo Lager an easy drinking flavor and smooth finish. We brew buffalo lager to share with our friends and hope you will enjoy a cold, fresh buffalo lager with yours. Flying Bison changing the world one beer at a time. Cheers to Buffalo and the Flying Bison crew. I guess uh, the guy that owns Buffalo, his name is Tim. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well, but uh, it's like a, in the background it's a big buffalo head and then the writing's on it. I'm using my uh, Peroni glass, which is an Italian beer. I've never, I haven't used it, so uh, I thought I should use it. Um, I'll be right back. All right, sorry, I just had to rinse it. There was a little bit of dust in the bottom. All right, BB Bafla. Compliments of Mad Maxwell Star of Maxwell Star's Beer Reviews. Smokage. Alright, uh, your standard lager color, uh, golden yellow in color. Lots of carbonation by the looks of the glass. I poured it a little aggressively, so we got three fingers ahead. A nice white medium bubble head. The aroma. Okay, not bad. A slight sweetness, a slight maltiness, a slight bitterness. Um, I'm getting a slight hit of a little bit of earthy floral type of uh, characters off the nose. Other than that, it just smells like your standard lager. Mm. Looks good, smells good. Give her a taste, see what we get. Mm. Wow. All right. Well, it tastes better than your average lager. Um, a nice sweetness, a nice maltiness, a nice bitterness. Um, I'm getting a bit of uh, floral earthy notes there. I'm getting a little bit of um, Yeah, just a 
it's clean, it's crisp, it's easy drinking, um, slightly malty, slightly um, sweet, um, slight floral, earthy character there. Other than that, uh, there's not much more to say about the taste of the beer. You can session this beer all the time. It's a very, very easy drinking beer. You can sit back at the cottage or wherever and drink six or more of these and have no issues. It's a really easy drinking beer. Um, one of the better lagers I've had. Um, still my favorite lager to date is the uh, Hop City Barking Squirrel Lager. For some reason that beer is just, I, I think it's awesome. Um, excuse me, but this is a very, very, very close second. Oh, excuse me. Um, good job, Flying Bison Company. This is a really good lager. Easy drinking, clean, crisp, refreshing. Sit back and drink these all day. Um, nice lacing on the glass, as you can see. The head's sticking around. Every time you take a sip, the head's not going anywhere. No issues there. Um, I'm going to say, uh, um, you know, uh, I'm going to say two row malt, maybe a little bit of carapils, and then uh, tetanog hops. I don't think there's any other hops in there. Um, but uh, tetaneg is on the bottle, so um, very smooth, smooth character. Um, uh, medium, light to medium carbonation, uh, light body. Um, fairly smooth going down on the palate. It's a good beer. So, anyways, if you can find this beer in your area, Buffalo Lager by the Fine Bison Brewing Company in Buffalo, New York, give it a whirl because it is a really, really good lager. Um, it's, a, it's a very, very good lager. Uh, you know, you don't get any off flavors in it. You don't get any corn flavors in it like uh, the other lagers, like the big... Uh, like the big Cahoons, um, but uh, this one is uh, very, very straightforward, very, very clean, very, very crisp. Um, not much more I can say about it, but uh, it's a good beer. Um, thank you, Albino Rhino, for this one. This is awesome. Excuse me, it's a really, really easy drinking lager. Um, it's truly appreciated. Thanks for watching. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe, leave any comments or suggestions in the comment box. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, until next time, Brew By Me is out.